So Zuckerberg is going to be selling billions of dollars in Facebook shares. Interesting. I think Facebook is on its last leg, actually. I think they're going to try to push so many new little things to try to get people interested that they're going to have... Uh, it's. I think Facebook is going to see the same demise as as MySpace. Um, I, one of the things about Facebook is that it's not about uh, it's not about who you want to surround yourself with. It's who you feel obligated to surround yourself with. It's one of the things that I liked about Google Plus. Google Plus was more about who do you want to surround yourself with. It, had, it just had a very different feel for uh, for you know what makes you become interested. A place like Gab, isn't that the name of it? Gab. Is it Gab? Yes, it's Gab. Wanted to make sure I had the name right. <laughs> um, with Gab, it's more about how you can make some sort of political statement uh, in a short amount of words. Um, you know, because they've got a massive uh, a character limit cap. A character limit cap? Here, let me put on my character limit cap, right? It has a massive character limit on it, and a, I'm not a fan of that kind of format, really. Um, then you've got Minds, that's all about points. <laughs> all about points. And I'm not talking about making points, I'm talking about... Uh, how many points do you have? <laughs> you know, I think Google Plus was the best one, but that's my that's my view on it. It didn't catch on with a lot of people, and then after they changed the, they re completely redid it, and then forced that change on everyone. It's just like, oh come on, you got rid of the cool way of being able to to move people between circles. Um, you know, it used to have some very cool options that are just not there anymore. And then they never really made improvements. They just changed around the way that you do old things to ways that take more steps. It's like, really, Google? <laughs> That's supposed to help? Oh, well, we're, we're making it the, the desktop and mobile experience more cl close to each other. Oh, that's great. You know? <laughs> Same kind of vision that Microsoft seems to have as if you're going to... You're just going to shove out the uh, uh, who cares about desktop stuff anymore, right? Um, you know, Windows 10, everything that, that Microsoft does with Windows 10 is, you know, has to do with uh, UWP, uh, Universal Windows Platform. It all has to do with that. It all revolves around that. They're, they haven't added anything new to uh, to the desktop, honestly, since Vista, as much as people hate Vista, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't like Windows Millennium. That was the worst edition of Windows that ever came out, was Millennium, not not Vista. Yeah, Vista wasn't very good. And they, they tried doing these, uh, you know, desktop widgets type of thing, and it didn't catch, that didn't catch on. They, they tried doing some things, they experimented, and then when they finally came out with Windows 7, it was just like, wow. They refined all the things they needed to... Re Windows 7 is is the best looking, in my opinion, and best operating OS they had come up with. The least confusing, did the most things, but it also... There are some things that aren't that efficient about it, which is why if you use Windows 8 or Windows 10, there are some things that go a lot faster on it. Um, they, they redid an, a, some code from the, the bottom up. Or is it from the top down? Whatever. It's completely redid the code on some things. And in the Linux world, you know, oh, well, uh, 
let's just keep building on something old and hope that they won't change some dependencies that mess everything up, right? Ah, Linux. Anyway, um, I've went on about Linux way too many times. Um, I originally wanted to make this video about uh, Facebook, though. You know, Facebook, you feel obligated to go to. You feel obligated. Oh well, it's 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 your best friend from uh, elementary school. Uh, you you need to friend them, or you're 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 rude, or you're like a bully, or you're okay. Yeah, let's friend them. Okay, you know that sort of thing. Oh, a uh, family that you haven't talked with in a long time. Well, uh, there might have been a reason why you hadn't talked to them in a long time. You know, but but oh, it's you. It's just you, you got this obligated feel to to just about everyone that's that you have as friends on Facebook. And then, and then there's all these hard feelings when someone unfriends a bunch of people, which I, I understand. It's that's that's part of the, that platform. There's just it's just it's an obligation rather than just something that you do to enjoy. And I think that's the wrong kind of uh, place to come from. And it's become more that way as time goes on. And then they add these. Uh, oh, I. Uh, do you remember uh, this time last year? Uh, yeah, uh, something terrible happened to me. I don't want to be reminded of this. Oh, but let's let's remind you, remind people of it. You know, it, it gets too intrusive, and it feels like an obligation, and it's also the most it's the most polarized place on the internet. Is is Facebook? You know, it's it's just awful. I I look forward to it becoming about like MySpace. I, I look forward to that. Facebook is 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 cancer. <laughs> it's it's internet cancer as far as I'm concerned. So anyway. <laughs>